so if you guys saw the episode there's not much to you know digest or you know take apart for you know to for me to look at closer pretty much this episode was really sad i mean if you guys saw it we pretty much saw one of the tents and the monsters on the island kind of kill our, the best boy um that blonde um, ninja looking um, swordsman and pretty much he was you know he sacrificed himself in order to save the I'm presuming what would be his girl and you know the master and I think one of the reasons this makes it sad was cause well one I want to mention that we did get like kind of a we kind of saw a glimpse from the from his past so pretty much um you know he was born raised from the slums um you know pr you know he was doing petty crime stealing and everything and then eventually one day the blind guy he took him in as his student and trained him up until now and then you know it's sad to see him die but at least he, like, you know, sacrificed himself for them to, you know, escape. And, you know, luckily they did escape with their lives. But the other thing that made th this death so sad was because I genuinely thought that, you know, he would at least be one of the ones that survives this whole island, be able to get back with, you know, the girl that we saw and since the girl was like no oh, I'm uh, I found for you I'm, I'm gonna marry you um you know that's what I assume would happen and it kind of looked like that it was on his way to happen like um we get a little glimpse of you know his potential and we see kind of a flash of his eye in his eyes of what the future could have been so we got one scene where his training disciples like his master did and then further down the line we see him kind of marrying um you know the girl from the island the girl that was you know that kept on saying that I was you know that I found for you and you know it's one reason it that kind of that death hit me is because you know the potential of them you know because i i mainly ship them i think they would have made a great couple if you know they would have lived and they could have you know been married and lived happily ever after and maybe have some kids too and the other reason is because um well one of my fears that i'm thinking about right now is that since he died sacrificing himself eventually I feel like she would also die of um you know the same reason but I feel like her death will come you know around episode 10 or something but eventually I do believe she will die and meet the same fate as her future husband did I guess and one thing that did hit different was that you know, take into, into account that the girl was literally the last surviving person from, you know, the mountain village that she was originally from. And, you know, if, hypothetically, if they did make it out the island, him and her life, you know, intact, I feel like probably down the line after they got married, or they could have had some kids and you know the kid would would have the blood of you know the mother the only surviving person from the mountain village but now I doubt that's gonna happen I mean for me I mean I saw I saw her like like she was really like she kept on saying she was really in love with him and you know probably one and a half kids and whatever and even if she does make it back alive which I don't think she will but if she does she'll probably find a way to like I don't know 
go to the afterlife to meet him some some way because I doubt she would feel comfortable uh, having a kid even though they wouldn't um, you know she would she would be able to continue her bloodline but I feel like now that her special someone is kind of out the picture um she would probably feel bad of like oh I was supposed to have my first child with this guy I was with on the island but now I'm having it with like another stranger that I don't know and that's a big if she lives from the looks of the episode it looks like um most of the people won't live to go back on mainland like um, one of the death flags I'm getting is probably that blind man. And the boy's master will die. And um, eventually we'll, we'll see um, you know, her die. You know, kind of following this pattern of um, you know, whoever is connected to him. Because obviously she expressed her interest in him. And you know, the blind man was his teacher. So feel like I feel like they'll try to follow the pattern or maybe it'll happen without them wanting to but yeah, I just feel really bad about watching this episode I mean it was just very sad just to see him die um, but at least he died protecting you know the people he wants to protect and he was able to protect you know I guess his future wife but um yeah overall i'm very happy that you know his death meant something at the end you know he wasn't just you know another dead body in the forest like that um uh one guy that i think we found on the boat or something but the point is you know at least he sacrificed himself for you know someone he really cared about um, that part I'm kind of happy about, but um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the analysis there. Again, I think this was a pretty cool episode. There, like I said, there wasn't much to investigate. Just, you know, a very sad episode. But um, hopefully next episode, um, you know, things will start to, I guess, fire up. Because we... Um, you know, things will hopefully fire up by next episode. And before I end this video, I do want to say that it was announced, I think it was this week or last week, that um, episode 9 will be um, rescheduled to come out on June 3rd. So I believe that's like two or three weeks away. Pretty big gap. But um, uh, hopefully... Um, It'll probably be a pretty good episode, but um, yeah, for now, I think I'm just going to end it. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.